Hi guys, hope you're okay. Now, I've got something to tell you. The other day, somebody knocked on my door like this. They went, on my front door. Yeah, and when I got there, there was nobody there. There was just a bag, and in the bag, there was some books. And this book we've got today was in the bag, yeah. But the bag was from Leo and Ben and Sam. So they left me some of their favourite stories to read to everybody. That was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah. So today's story, which I think is Leo's favourite, is Elmer and the Rainbow by David McKee. Look at Elmer. He's all different colours. What colours can you see on Elmer? Hmm. Yeah, there's red and yellow and pink and white and green and orange and black and blue. Yeah, there's loads of colours. And there's all the colours in the rainbow as well. Are all the colours in the rainbow in Elmer? I think so. That's cool. So this is a beautiful little book that they let me borrow called Elmer and the Rainbow. Let's see what happens. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was in a cave, sheltered from a storm. With him were other elephants and birds. Thunder and lightning is exciting, said Elmer, and after the storm we might see a rainbow. When the storm had stopped, Elmer and the birds went outside. Elmer felt drops on his head. Oh, he said, it's still raining. Perhaps it's the rainbow crying, said a bird. It comes out too soon and lost its colours. Look, it's come out too soon. Hmm. The sky was a pale shape, a rainbow without colours. It's awful. We must do something. I'll give it my colours. You must find where it touches the ground, said a bird. Nobody knows where that is. Well, let's start searching, said Elmer. You go that way and I'll go this way. Oh, never seen a rainbow like that, have you? Looking for something, Elmer? Called the lion. The end of a rainbow, said Elmer. The rainbow's lost its colours. I can give it mine if we can find the end. A rainbow without colours? That is serious, said the tiger. We'd better search. We'll roar when we find it, said the lion. Oh. Elmer, said Giraffe, there's something strange in the sky. Elmer told her about the rainbow's lost colours and his plan. Can you see where it touches the ground? No, she said. What will happen to you? But Elmer was already on his way to get the elephants. Hmm. The elephants were still in the cave. We're not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But Elmer had explained the problem and the elephants were keen to help. What about Elmer if he gives his colours away? asked the elephant. I suppose he'd be like us, said his friend. Better that than a colourless rainbow. Hmm. Elmer was with the monkeys when the birds returned. No luck so far, said they said. We'll keep looking. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow, said the monkey. But it'll be fun to try. 
By the time Elmer arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. Hello, fish, he said. I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? Usually at the waterfall, said the fish. But today, there's some pale thing there. That's the rainbow, said Elmer. Come on, to the waterfall. Sure enough, the colourless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. The search was over. Elmer, the fish and the crocodiles called loudly to the other animals. Then, without waiting, Elmer went behind the waterfall. Oh, is that safe? I don't know. By the time the other animals arrived, Elmer was out of sight. Colours gradually began to appear in the rainbow. Hooray! Cried, cheered the animals. But what about Elmer? whispered the elephant. Oh no, has Elmer lost his colours? As if in answer, Elmo reappeared. He still had his colours. But you gave your colours to the rainbow, said an elephant. How can you still have them? Elmer laughed. Some things you can give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness or love or my colours. Oh, that's really nice. He shared his colours. Later on the way home, Tiger said, I wonder whether the rainbow would be patchwork. Elmer grinned. Don't even think. Think about it, said the lion. We've had enough trouble with a patchwork elephant. This time, Elmer laughed out loud. <laughs> oh, it's a patchwork rainbow. <laughs> oh, that was really nice and kind of Elmer to help the rainbow get his colours back. And thanks, boys, for letting me borrow the story. I really liked it. Right, see you tomorrow everybody, bye!